Most notably, the son, with whom he goes on various adventures, saving the world from dinosaurs, monsters, robots, aliens, mad scientists, and other threats. With the main villain from King Kong Escapes, Doctor Who, as their most popular enemy. There's not much in plot being that each episode is its own story, so that's all I can really say about it. The show was an American-Japanese combination produced in 1966 by Rankin Bass, better known for their stop-motion Christmas specials, and Japan's Toei Animation, one of the most famous in the world of anime. Their most notable shows are Sailor Moon and the Dragon Ball franchise. Though it is one of the first shows that the company did, it honestly doesn't hold up much. However, it spawned a ton of merchandise in the 60s. Lasting about two seasons and 25 episodes, the show was popular enough for Universal and Toho to team up for a live-action movie, King Kong Escapes. But overall, how does the show hold up? Well, I hate to say it, but it's kind of boring. Nothing developed and nothing interesting happens. The characters are bland and forgettable. Kong is too much of a comic relief, and is just a complete snore. I honestly don't think that Kong can work for a television series, nor Godzilla for that matter, and both had two animated series of their own, and that will be reviewed soon. So overall, even though you might get the DVDs, I'd say this is one to definitely pass out. 2 out of 10. So that was the King Kong show. It's boring, it's outdated, and it's forgettable. So next time, we're going to be moving up to the 70s again and take a look at another Kong ripoff that was made to cash in on the Dino De Laurentiis production. So we'll see you next time. Sometimes it's bigger than that.